citizens. Joining me now is Congressman Raja Krishnamoorthy. He is the Democrat from Illinois and, of course, a member of the House Intelligence uh, Committee. So, Congressman, let me just start there. You know, there haven't yet been formal evacuation orders, uh, but, but where are we right now in terms of what you understand U.S. ability is to get the many thousands of American citizens out if that's what is needed? I think that, uh, you know, in other situations involving similar scenarios, uh, we have uh, engaged in chartering flights. Uh, we have actually had uh, assets go and pick up personnel. And so I think that all options would be on the table in this situation. Obviously, uh, the situation is very fraught, as you know. So, Congressman, just to understand, you know, what what you know about the situation, right? We know there was there was warning was not given yesterday. Last time uh, in the spring, when Iran struck Israel with missiles, and obviously many fewer missiles than yesterday, but there had there was this was known. It had been telegraphed. Uh, this was different. So, what's the level of intelligence right now, as you see it? Well, I think that you know Israel is going to respond. Obviously, we stand. Uh, with Israel and in this particular hour where they are contemplating their response. Um, I think that nobody wants an all out war with Iran. And so their choice of targets is going to matter. And I think that they are going to be coordinating with Americans uh, and in discussions with the Biden administration about the path forward. Um, but our ironclad commitment remains yeah. uh, to uh, uh, help Israel, but at the same time, nobody, neither here nor in Israel, would want an all-out war with Iran. Right, and but to that point, of course, nobody wants that. But, but often, if you look at history, people don't want horrific wars that happen. You kind of get there without realizing it, and then eventually we look back and you say the shot heard round the world with Archduke Ferdinand. But of course, in the moment, it was it was a culmination of many things. In this moment, what does supporting Israel to you mean, Congressman? Uh, and I and I just put out there the three options: that if, if they target energy. Uh, you know, bomb energy around Iran and they bomb nuclear facilities or they go out and take out Iranian leadership and engage in regime change. Would you support all of those things? Um, well, I, I think that someone like myself and others would be very concerned uh, about, you know, each of those particular uh, potentially triggering an escalation that would go out of control. So there are different types of responses. The one that they made back in the spring with regard to a radar installation uh, outside a nuclear facility uh, was one thing. Uh, but targeting, you know, oil refineries, nuclear facilities, or even military installations would uh, be another. I think that the United States would be involved in terms of logistics because at the end of the day, any kind of response could trigger another response from the Iranians. And therefore, we would have to be coordinating with them to defend Israel in that instance as well. So that's why it's gonna be very important to have close discussions and make sure that this thing does not get to a point where um, we can't control the outcome and then the whole, whole region would be embroiled in, in okay. conflict. Do you believe that right now the U.S. can control the outcome? And, and I guess what I'm asking you, just to be very direct here, Congressman, is do you think Prime Minister Netanyahu is actually going to listen to what President Biden has to say if he says, here's a red line, this is where we are not comfortable with you going? I think there'll be close consultations, Aaron. I think that, remember, at the end of the day, you know, the Israel, first, Israel and the U.S. share intelligence. Secondly, uh, the U.S. helps to provide munitions. So to the extent that munitions are expended, they'll have to be, um, you know, kind of, uh, made up again. They'll have to be reprovisioned. And and so the U.S. is uh, going to be in close consultations with the Israelis about what they plan to do. I don't think this is a situation where we're going to say, look, if you do X, um, we're going to do Y and we're going to prevent you from doing this. Um, our relationship is one of friendship. Yeah. And also we can't be in a situation where we would expect the Israelis not to respond given this uh, attacked by Iranians brazenly uh, last night. 
All right. Well, Congressman, I appreciate your time. I'm glad to speak with you. Thank you, Aaron. Congressman Krista Morthy there joining us. John, back to you.